Okay, Pops, it is good to be back. Today, we are going to dive into the community forum back at joinyaa.com slash community, and we're going to be talking about the fees you should and shouldn't expect to pay when you're buying a car or leasing a car in 2021, or probably in the beginning of 2022 as well. And, and maybe um, uh, into forever, but let's hope not. <laughs> So yeah, we've seen a lot of changes in the way that car deals are manufactured nowadays. Like not how the cars are manufactured, but like the, the way the deals are structured. Lots of uh, factory orders, lot a lot of inventory on dealers' lots. And as a result of that, Dad, there's a lot of changes that are happening to like the actual deal worksheets and what you should expect when you walk into the dealership. Absolutely, yes. So we had one. I'll pull the first one up on the screen for you, Dad. Um, this is from Keenan Henry. It comes uh, by way of the YEA community forum. And it was... From Keenan, he said, looking to build a car, after going through the build sheet, I asked them about a 1995 appearance package. The dealer said it's nitrogen, tent, and a few other items. I told them that I probably won't need that. They said that it's mandatory that gets installed since they aren't charging any uh, market markups and selling at MSRP. What's your take? I want your take, Dad. And also, we had awesome responses here from a bunch of people in the community forum. So what's your take initially? And then let's run through some of the responses. Well, if you're going to say that you that there's no additional deal or markup, then you shouldn't force your customer to have to... Uh, buy a $2,000 appearance package. Uh, that is an additional deal or markup. You're just justifying it by saying that you're actually giving, giving them something for that $1,995. Um, I don't think as a dealer you should ever force a customer to buy something on a car that they've ordered. Um, it doesn't have to be installed unless you tell the service department to install it. So perhaps if the customer doesn't want to want all that stuff, um, uh, maybe perhaps you, you either just agree to sell them the car at the MSRP or maybe $500 over MSRP or $750 over MSRP, whatever the profit margin is that's built into that 1995. Um, because you really are forcing him uh, at this point to, to pay an additional deal or markup just cloaking it and that you're actually giving him something for that markup. But let's be, I mean, but let's be brutally honest. I mean, this is the market right now. So yes. maybe like if you do run into this pops, what's something that you can say to kind of appear like educated or knowledgeable and maybe gain a little bit of control in the situation. I think you said in a past video, wasn't there like no, no RO on the, no, put no additional items on, on the PDI RO. So PDI stands for pre-delivery inspection, and every vehicle, when it comes in from the factory, has to go through a pre-delivery inspection before it's actually sold and put on the lot. And, and before the service department will do that, they need an authorized repair order, RO, from the, from the sales manager stating what needs to be done on that particular car, that particular stock number. So if on the pre-delivery inspection repair order, the, the sales manager writes no additional equipment to be installed at this time, that then that customer wouldn't have to be subject to the $1,995 appearance package. Now, I, I understand that as a customer, the sales manager is going to say, hey, we're not charging $2,000 or $3,000 or $5,000 over MSRP for you to order this car, but we would, we would appreciate you to take these appearance package items. Um, and so there should be some room in that 1995 to negotiate in good faith, I would think. So no... RO on the PDI. Uh, no, 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 nope. no additional items on the PDI RO. And that's why that's why you are here, and it's uh, not just me. Yeah, uh, well, uh, only because I've probably requested that in the past. <laughs> so, I hope you requested an appearance package or two. Well, I or. Or, you know, because at the, at the mini store, every car got nitrogen, whether so and, and wheel locks and things like that. So if somebody ordered a car, I mean, we would specifically ask them, do you want the wheel locks? No. Do you want the nitrogen? No. So you'd make it make it a point on the order sheet that the customer didn't want any of that stuff so that when the car came in and we went to the service department, we said, OK, on this R.O., 
just do a PDI only, no additional dealer installed accessories. Yep. Or yep. or if there was an accessory that the customer would had wanted, um, maybe it was a shift knob. Uh, you know, I don't I don't know what it was. Floor mats, all weather mats. You would write that on the RO. And so just to be clear, this is something that if you are going to factory order a vehicle right now, which is likely if you're buying a car, a new car, that's what you're doing. Don't be surprised if you find a dealership that sells a vehicle at MSRP, but ask them about this. Don't let this come up at the last moment and and be aware of accessories or add-on packages that are not added on markup to the uh, MSRP, but are simply other products that are just being like tossed on and use this verbiage as a way to, to kind of try and combat it. And if you can't, and I think that space here in the forum said it well, yeah. the reason behind placing a factory order is to get the vehicle with just the options you want, nothing else. Since you will take delivery upon arrival, the dealer has no additional cost in the car. MSRP should be the price. If this is a deal breaker for the dealer, I would look for another dealership to secure your order at straight MSRP. Well said. Yes, and and the only dilemma with that is that there's not a lot of dealers out there today that are willing to do even a factory order uh, at straight MSRP. And the reason for that is because they're getting um, 10 or 15% of what they normally would get in the way of allocations and they the dealerships feel as if they have this need to to invent additional profit areas so that they can re keep the doors open and remain profitable as a dealership um and if more and more people are going to pre-order a car or take something that's already incoming um i i understand why dealers might ask for the extra but your job as the customer is to request only exactly what it is that you want. And again, we're not here to necessarily tell you what you should or shouldn't get out of your deal, but just what to expect, right? Yes, yes, exactly. All right, so let's look at another one that was posted on the YA Community Forum, a 2022 Honda Civic EX. This time it's a lease quote, okay? This is for a Civic coming in next week. Again, if you're buying a car or leasing a car right now, we get it. It's probably not on the lot. It's coming in soon or you're ordering it. Mm -hmm. I have been looking for the LX base and EX trims. MSRP on the Honda website is twenty one nine for the LX and twenty four nine. I guess for the EX, the platinum white color is an additional three hundred ninety five from the Honda website. These MSRPs do not include the one thousand and fifteen dollar destination card made explicitly clear on the Honda website. Strange. For the EX here, this would add up to twenty six. 310 and the selling price on the quote is 26110. Not bad. However, there are $1585 in add-ons. Uh, I'm doing zero down. I ideally like to negotiate all the add-ons off looking for advice. I've already contacted 10 plus dealerships. Um, some are not expecting new Civics until June of 2022. So Pops, let's January let's try. of 2022. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So we've got here this particular vehicle. I'll read this out to you. I know it's probably a little blurry. Market value selling price. So that's like the just under MSRP um, selling price. We've got Kahoo Vehicle Security for $395. All Season Pro Pack for $695. Window Tint for $495. And then a lease acquisition fee, which makes sense. It doesn't yes. appear to be marked up. No, the dock it's not. fee. Um, the title and registration uh, and inspection fee. So from what you're seeing here, Dad, is any of this, this is what you should expect in today's market, or what are you thinking? Well, I, I, I would think there isn't a dealer out there that isn't trying to include uh, their value appearance package, their protection package, whatever it is. Um, but this is an incoming car. So I would think that this, since the stuff hasn't been installed on it yet, it wasn't installed at the port, and it wasn't installed at, at the factory when the car was built. This is all dealer-installed uh, accessories that you should be able to negotiate that in good faith with the dealer. Now, if they're not willing to negotiate that, and you've been in contact with 10-plus dealers, and this is the best deal um, then, you know, perhaps you, you, you just pull the trigger and you go ahead and, and, and you lease that car. But I would attempt to at least mitigate some of the pricing on those items. Um, I don't know if you want the vehicle security. I don't know if you want their pro pack. I don't know if you want their now, window I mean, they, he said it, right? He said he wants yeah. them down to zero. But what's a good expectation to maybe set? Are you able to maybe negotiate 50% of it, perhaps? 
you know, it, it they're, they're, and this they're, is again they, where the no R, no, no additional things on the RO at the no, PDI. No, no additional dealer installed accessories for the, on the RO for the pre delivery inspection for the PDI. Um, and, and, and let's face it, the parts and service departments mark these items up to the sales department. So there is a built in profit, even in the sales department cost for these items. It's a store profit. It's not necessarily the sales department profit. And the sales department is trying to create some additional profits on their end of the deal as well. Totally, totally. So Pops, I pulled back up on the screen. This is the great thing about the community forum. So we have here space going way deeper than uh, than Edward or, or, or anyone could possibly expect. And we really appreciate how engaged people are back on joinya.com slash community. I was able to match the quoted monthly with a money factor of 0.0015 and a super high residual of 66%. The add-ons, the upfront taxes, um, do it signing, it's... Ugh wasn't for the add-ons. This is what the monthly would be. There's no single right answer on how to best negotiate those fees down on a high demand vehicle, but here are two options. Negotiate to eliminate single items like the Kahoo security system, which some dealers are taking off if pushed. The tint is already installed and it's not that bad. Probably take 200 off the all season pack and call it even. The total add-ons is 9.95. So there you go. Talking about 50% or in this case, getting $600 off is kind of what space is suggesting. Mm -hmm. if, you have it, if you have established some rapport with the sales advisor, make him an offer and let them figure out the allocation of fees and Instead of going back and forth haggling on single items, you want to be clear that you value their time and are not quite uh, quote shopping. And if they agree, you're ready to sign on the spot. If it's a reasonable number based on real data, civics are not discounted and additional dealer markups are common, you have a good chance. Select a nice round number to appear normal based on the calculations above and make your offer a simple. If you could do 410 a month with 410 down at signing, I would be I would sign today. We'll go far if done right. If questioned, you know how you arrived at your monthly. Basically, you're willing to accept 995 in dealer added profit, but no more. To me, that is more than reasonable to close a deal today on a $26,000 Civic in high demand. I like option B a lot, Dad. What about you? Yeah, I do too. And and you know, if if I could, I would clone space. Um, I, I have I have never in my life worked with somebody who who is as diligent as he is at providing as clear and concise uh, the information that he does. He is just he is remarkable in his skill for being able to crystallize what it is that, that's trying to be said and, and puts it forth in a manner that's easily understandable. God bless him. So there you go. There's two different deals happening literally right now. A factory order, a lease deal. We get it. We get that if you're buying a car today, you're not going to just go to the lot and probably find a new car. We'll probably have to do this video again, Dad, for some used vehicles, what you should and shouldn't expect to see. These are real worksheets, real people literally going through it right now. So hopefully that can help you frame your expectations going into the process. And if you have questions, we're real people. Space is a real person. Kimberly, Justice, Phil, Warren, like the team is here to help you. So join us back on the forum, post your questions, and we'll see if we can, we can do the best we can to help. Sounds good to me. All right, Pops, as always, appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, Handsome. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you then. Yep. Bye-bye.